the Boca Rio Trail. It's on my morning walk here. Over here is like the river. It's actually a canal, but they call it a river, you know. And that's the one I-95 right there, so it's really, really kind of noisy. But this is the cool part of walking under I-95. A lot of people ride bikes on here. Actually, this is a bicycle trail, but you know, it's a multi-use trail, so you can walk on it too. This is a nice trail, and it's really nice out this morning. It's not cold out, it's not hot out, it's just like perfect. Anyways, that one. We just came out from under I-95. Look up there, those are iguanas. They hang out all up on here. It's not that many right now, but when the sun comes out, trust me, <laughs> there'll be a lot. It's just a really nice day out. This is like winter Florida style. <laughs> yes. Yep. It's real nice. And, they, and here in Boca Raton, they have all these paved trails like this. Which is pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's great. So there's no ex no excuse really for not being able to take walks. So this is the end of the trail here. Well, it's not the end of the trail, but it's the part where you come to Spanish River Boulevard. And so you have to do this little crossing. You can continue straight and go along the east side of the campus. I'm just gonna go through the campus because it's like the most direct route. But uh, yeah, so this is, pretty much the end of where I'm going to take the El Rio Trail to and just so you have one last look at it down the line it goes okay so we're on campus I've crossed Spanish River Boulevard now we're in where these little they call this uh, tech runway area okay this is another favorite part of the campus for me this is as we approach the airport so the campus used to be, during World War II, an Army airfield. That's before there was an actual Air Force and it was part of the Army and part of the Navy. But anyways, this was an Army airfield in World War II and um, off in that direction over there, they were working on developing radar. So this is kind of an instrumental place historically um, for the development of radar for the U.S. Armed Forces. Um, anyways, most of it's uh, the college, uh, Palm Beach State College and FAU in the distance. And the rest of it is the Boca Raton Airport. You can see all the jets parked right there in front of me. And um, yeah, it's a perfect flying day. Slight breeze from the southeast, no clouds, no need for IFR. It's all visual today. Easy flying. There's the control tower. I don't see any, I don't see any planes up. There's usually uh, the guys from Lynn University in their Cessna flying this morning or on days like this. There's uh, a couple of guys in there that have the the Mooney M20V aircraft. It's a beautiful plane. I've shown pictures of it. Um, it's a really nice plane. It does almost 300 miles an hour. It's faster than almost any other uh, single engine turboprop. Really good airplane. It's the FAU Stadium. This is where the Owls play and of course they have other things that happen here as well. But uh, yeah, big, 
jewel of the crown it is FAU and this right here is really cool actually um, so you, if you can see out there there's sticks of wood uh, wooden sticks poking up some of them are uh, t-shaped and some of them are just sticks anyway what this is it's a preserve for burrowing owls which are endangered and also uh, for um, gopher tortoises which are also endangered and you usually see the owls but it's morning so they they're nocturnal um, but even still you usually see one guard in the hole that they you know their burrow the stadium the stadium the stadium the FAU stadium it's the stadium yes it's the student gate you show your owl card they let you in for free it's a secret Shh, don't tell anyone Next video, I'm going to walk through there, way over there. There's a nature trail that goes through the scrub, the preserve over there. It's pretty cool. Haven't been on it in a while. But, it'll be cool to see. So in here is the uh, football field. You can see a little bit of it there. Here is the football practice field. And this is the underside of the stadium from the west side. This right here is where all the VIPs sit up in there and all that such that there are. This over here used to be a parking garage. We have an immense parking problem at FAU. So in their infinite wisdom, they turned it into classrooms for the sports people. And once we come around this little bend here, start to see the main area of the FAU campus. So this is looking across the street from FAU Boulevard across the street into the main campus and that's the north end of the breezeway, the beginning of the breezeway. About a week ago or so, maybe a little bit longer, I put up a video, uh, time-lapse video of me walking from this end to the other end of that. So you can refer to that for that, but this is the beginning of that. And over there is the student gym. You can go in there and work out and run on treadmills and all that sort of thing. It's a blast for them. That all over there is the, uh, the College of Business. And directly in front of me is the Alumni Center. Okay, at this end of the breezeway there's like... Uh, this is where the food court is and all that sort of thing. And they have this pop-up truck, which... But here's the cafeteria. It's nice. And so... And so, uh... I come in here and get, like, you know, chocolate milk and maybe a bagel. You know, stuff that's not real expensive, but... Yeah, they got a Pizza Hut and... Uh, Boyo Tropical and all that. So I'll see you shortly. And finally, here's the cart yard, courtyard in front of where I work at FAU. And it's the bookstore. It's actually called the campus store, but they're happy. Yes. And that was my walk to work from the train station on Friday, February 14, 2020. And I hope it's a great day for you.